I've just gone out of seeing Alien Romulus, where I also got this sick poster given to me for free for booking my ticket. And what I can say, guys, is this was an enjoyable time. This is a good movie, but unfortunately, it's not great. Stick around and find out why. Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the channel and thank you so much for taking your own time out to check out this review. My name's Mike. If you're brand new here or coming back, welcome once again. And prior knowledge to going into Alien Romulus, which is directed by Fidi Alvarez, who has got a really cool filmography at this moment in time. And he's done a lot of impressive works. I've seen the first original Alien movie. I've seen Alien vs Predator and that is about it. Oh, I saw Alien Covenant, sorry. In, but that was a very long time ago. So I'm not the expert with this franchise. I went into this because I heard that this was a sequel to the original Alien, but it's also a prequel to Aliens. So, hey, correct me if I'm wrong down below in the comments section. Basically, this is based around a bunch of space colonists going to this derelict space station. They need to get this fuel for their ship in order to get to this place that's going to take them nine years to get to because they haven't got the fuel and they're basically not allowed off their planet without the planet authorities permission but they're going to come to face to face with an xenomorph and yeah i can see and as i mentioned in the intro this was a good time i think seeing this in the bigger screen i did pay a little bit of an uplift to do so which was a dolby sound and the picture quality the cinematography the sound, the visual effects, the practical effects are all absolutely solid. If you're going to check out this movie, I definitely do recommend a Dolby or an IMAX screening because it is just amplified, but done in such a good way, where it's like the tension moments or supposed to be tension filled moments, or whether it is just the subtlety of the music playing in the background as it's building up to a scene, or even in one of those quieter moments, it's really effective and was definitely one of my favorite aspects throughout because i absolutely loved the sound and visual design it looked tremendous for about 98 percent of it but i just was kind of engrossed and really brought into the life of this universe and the world building that we get well the little world building we get before they go up into the core space it is done in just a really cool way. This movie is very cool. That's the best way I can probably describe it. In terms of the acting department, we've got Kaylee Spaney, who plays a character called Rain, and we've also got um, a character who is David Johnson, plays the character who is this android brother of uh, Kaylee Spaney's character of Rain, and he by far stole the show. He was the best character, he was the best acting throughout the entire picture I felt for his character. I really wanted him to succeed. I really wanted to see him give us more screen time because he was just magnetic to watch. Like everything that he did, I was fascinated by. I was wondering, okay, well, what decision is he gonna make next? Of course, made an Android. And of course, we all know how Android and AIs can all turn out. Uh, I've seen probably plenty of movies to know that. I was just engrossed and what was going to happen next with him. Kaylee Spaney also does a good job. At times, there is moments I really like the character, but then there's other times where I wasn't really a huge fan, but that kind of goes more into my negatives, which I'm going to go into now. This movie had way too many conveniences. As it starts out, and as we start getting into this world, and, you know, the xenomorphs start to form and all that kind of stuff, I was absolutely on board. But as it goes into our second and then, of course, our big third act, it just seemed to be, okay, let's introduce this device here. Okay, well, this is definitely going to come into play later. Oh, they mentioned one or two things here. Right, well, that's definitely going to happen later on. And it just went kind of plot beat and it went so, in a way, it was predictable. And I was just like, oh. like, we really didn't need to go for that simplicity. Yeah, I appreciate that this is kind of bringing more of the Alien franchise back to ground from what I've heard from other reviewers like Anthony A. Perez as like later Alien installments started to go on. I completely get that more grounded approach, but the simplicity in terms of its predictability at times for me, unfortunately, let it down. And when I mentioned about the uh, visual effects, basically 
being great for like 98%. There is definitely a few shots that the CG wasn't great, especially one moment in the third act where I can't really tell you what it involves, but it just looked like the actor and actress was against a green or blue screen at that point. And I was like, yeah, you know, it's just a shame because this was a good movie. But with the elements I mentioned, unfortunately, it did knock it down for me because I just thought, right, well, when's the next convenience going to come up? Oh, here it is. Hey, great timing, you know. But overall, I would give this a three out of five. Three, three and a half out of five. Have you seen Alien Romulus? Are you going to check it out? Let me know down below in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed to Patreon, feel free to do so. Memberships only start from £2 per month. Big thanks to all my awesome patrons who help to really support the channel. Uh, if you haven't seen these videos of mine, click over here and check those out. Till next time, I'll see you guys. I'll be seeing you later. Mm -hmm.